okay Lucianami, like we said i'm surprised they didn't go lulu on on uh three here for rng because normally what we've seen is people go Lucianami, and the counter to Lucianami is affilios lulu or like people play affilios lulu into it i think ori would be fine i think syndra would be fine here alzahar okay i guess they can go malzahar jace okay so the jace is to kind of like deny a potential cannon pick himself because people consider that a counter pick so they did go the aurelia top i mean aurelia top for xiaohu aurelia top should be good into jace i mean aurelia top should be pretty good into the whole enemy team the way is just here to cover the push in yeah, that would have been a kill mommy has to flash i mean this, this is going really well for gala and uh and ming disengage a three cs difference in top lane yeah jahu getting the health lead there because his mid jungle already has control of the river oh that's an empowered roof that's a mouse over the top and okay i mean they're just gonna go on way gonna kick him right back out he will not take any more damage. and now the jcq oh he did it too early come on man come on flandre you gotta hit that bro it even even lpl versus lpl looks different at worlds even these teams look like they're playing worse into each other Mega doesn't want to show he hit six. Flandre has Flandre's just dead. What is Flandre doing, dude? Yeah, who has to know he's dead, right? His flash though. Oh. Oh my God. Okay, he he traded one back. He almost traded two back. He decided to not flash and just tank the gank. Okay. Jarvan just gets one shot. Mako should just die, right? Like Mako has Mako's not gonna die there? Okay. I mean I guess they don't wanna like fully commit. I mean, definitely. Oh, Viper has no flash. That's so good for RNG. JJ's dead too. And you're willing to take like the TF into Rise. I think that's a fine compromise. Ulti. Flandre should just be dead. No flash. He's very dead. Give it to Kryon. For RNG. I think RNG could just win this fight. Way is two levels up. They kind of want to like rise ulti into a side or something. I mean, this is the, I don't I don't believe this is gonna be good from uh from uh EDG. Maybe it's fine. We got dragon. I thought that this was gonna be actually pretty one because I thought that Aphilius would just be able to do too much damage in the clump. But I guess not. I guess they need to come from angles. Because the rise or like the the Malzar just stalled the damage from the um he just stalled the damage the whole fight. Ooh, nice snipe. He stalled the damage the whole fight from the Aurelia, but I thought that Aurelia was just gonna be able to live and then go in afterwards. The bubble follow-up was pretty nice. It's ocean soul for RNG though. Oh, here's the engage. I like I like what uh what they're doing. Viper can't play the game here. Now they just go straight to Baron. It's a good rise ult. They rise ult the the um, Nautilus and the Zin in, and then they have Aurelia pressuring from a side too. So like, there's not really a great option for EDG there. Pretty good use of the rise ult. Yep. Flandre's no flash. They they ult him, hook him. It's clean. They keep the Baron aggroed, and they're just gonna keep on fighting. Now they just have like JJ chased off by Xiaohu. Yeah, I, I think that RNG actually did this pretty well. This is like one of RNG's huge strengths. It's like one of the first clean barons that they've done. And yeah, like, I mean, they still just lost, bro. I mean, people can make any excuses that they want, but it's like, yeah. I mean, an FPX played without a jungle this whole tournament. That doesn't mean that they like didn't play like sh or that their losing is acceptable or something. This guy's just dead. Yeah, GG. It's end. Pretty good game one. Yeah, I think the best two bot lanes in the world are Gumiyushi Karia and um, Viper Mako. 
Jarvin, Lucian, Galio, TF, LeBlanc, and Leeson. First pick, Rise for a scout. I like this. Denying Cryon, the Rise TF Galio. I like this. Look at Zhao Hu's face. Look at Zhao. He's like, my mid laner doesn't have a roaming champion. We are like, you see how he just held his face. He just realized he just sank in. I'm going to have to play a game in quarterfinals of worlds with Cryon off of Rise TF or Galio. That's crazy. All right. Jace, MF, Zin. I mean, Zin is going to be turbo. Yumi is like, dude, I swear these LPL teams, they, they don't actually play Yumi. It's so fake when they try to play Nami, Yumi, all this. Just not them. The Annie for crying, bro. That's actually crying, bro. Holy. Holy. Hey, the Flash W. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Do I think RNG won draft? I mean, I think in the like, if you're using just your brain and you see this, I think EDG has a better like team comp. They have Olaf with three lanes that have Pryo versus Zin, and like Yumi should just be able to get out of the early game unscathed. Yumi can also itemize like a Mikhail's here if they really need it. Oh, they're flashing on Mako. Okay, Mako detached and they just killed him. But I mean, Ming is dead. I, I think Wei is probably dead. Oh, never mind. They have TP coming in. Oh, Krine got stopped. Krine got stopped. He literally just TP'd in front of the rise. I mean, Olaf Yumi, it's just, it's good luck for the enemy team. Who's going to stop the Olaf Yumi on the enemy team, actually? This is such a free Olaf game. Olaf into Annie MF, two immobile champions. Like, yeah, I don't think it gets much better than that, bro. It does not get much better than that. To reduce the anti stun flash play that are that are gonna come uh, consecutively here. Everybody grouping up for this rift herald. Even Mitch Fortune. Hey, Rise ult behind. This is gonna probably leash back as the team fight starts. Rumors of RNG getting locked up a fair bit. This is gonna be the first one on the way. They can't kill him. They can't kill the Olaf. Olaf is just gonna kill everyone. GG. Just just FF. Your anti game did not work out. Oh my god, the Merc tries, he just gets out of it. How sad is this? I like Wei was really slow in the W. They're both dead, by the way. Actually, no, only one of them's dead. I think just wait. Oh, never mind, they're both dead. Oh, Wei hit the W on Scout. No reason for him to die. I mean, the game is not that bad from EDG. I think EDG played pretty well overall. Oh my God. How unlucky is that? The chat who lives with eight health. Just calculated, bro. If he was Korean, he would have actually killed him there. Okay. The Merc Treads coming in clutch there. It's just a complete Merc Treads gap. Okay, now they're both dead for no reason. Okay, okay, nice. They just ran it down. It's unironically winnable. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is without ulti, bro. That was without ulti. Yumi is not a champion. I refuse to acknowledge that that shit is a champian. Yeah, Viper is too big. GG. A frozen heart mana moon with essentially a QSS with the Mikhail's on top. I mean, he can easily just win. Laundry gets a kill. 2v1. This game is pretty bad. I mean, Viper just dies here it's right before they have Mikhail's. Yeah, Viper actually rare up. It won't be possible once Mikhail's is here, but doesn't have it yet. Okay, 
Yeah, it's a 1v3. I don't know how you live with this one. He can't oh. even TP. Rise could always stun him. The damage isn't going to amount to... Archie, you're going to bear They're so uncomfortable with all these champions. Rise ult is going to bring them over. JJ's here. This is not a Baron. They can't do Baron. They have no damage for the Baron. You have an Antny and you have a uh, MF. Who's killing the Baron? Okay, they actually win the 50-50. And there, the, the Olaf didn't properly combo, so it was actually a true 50-50. Oh, they're just running straight into MF ult. Nice. Uh, it just doesn't matter. Graves is just going sicko mode. Yeah, I mean, Graves, Graves and Yumi can just get a penta here. <laughs> Delayed penta. Well, I guess Crane's already dead, so it's not possible, but yeah. Alright, GG. What a horrible game. Dude, I just don't understand. Like, I, there has to be something. I refuse to believe that Yumi was just an unplayable, horrible champion and then got that, that W buff or the bop and block buff and, they, and then it suddenly just became broken just with just that. So it's almost 100% gonna be Lucian top blind, which I think Blinder will probably just play Jace into it. Oh wait, no, 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 it's just Graves top. Oh, whoops. So yeah, it's just Lucian top into Graves. Actually, I mean, I don't even know, like does Lucian even hard beat Graves anymore on this patch? It might not even hard win. Mad? I think Matt actually does match up well into to Gen G. I think it's really sad that Matt lost that tiebreaker because I feel like Matt's like mid game recovery and stuff is really good, like versus a team like Gen G because Gen G will always give you room to breathe. All right, so here's a 315 dive. RNG actually did the dive. Holy, like one of the only things that we're seeing that's reminiscent of LPL. So mid lane is not level six. Oh, is he going to be level six? Oh, he's not even level six. He's just leaving. He's just leaving, bro. Okay. Oh, Kryon is here. He's just dead. Holy. <laughs> Kryon just dipped, bro. Kind of sad, to be honest. They have Galio ult here. Galio is predatoring. Way, way ulted there. And JJ ulted too. I guess the trade is fine. Way has to flash here. Maybe not. He needs to just chill. Oh, Kryon actually smurfed on him. Oh, Kryon actually smurfed on him, though. Low-key. Oh, he kind of griefed, though. He griefed afterwards, but he smurfed originally. The E... He was just waiting on that E. You could tell by just the way he was walking. He was just waiting to E back in. I feel like people were, like, on the lethality grind, and then they just, like, stopped going it all the time. Oh, Wei is just dead or what? Oh, they're just all dead. Wait, they're not They're not dead here? There's no way that they, they actually are allowed to live here. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. When did they change the second turret thing? I don't remember. It was changed for playoffs, though. Maybe like 11 11 or like 11 12, something like that. Oh, Viper actually dies there. I mean, this is just straight up 4v5. Straight up 4v5. Azir's top. I mean, this is so good for Scout, though. Look at his gold. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Okay. They stopped him. Honestly, I don't even know if he needs to stop there. I think he could probably just auto that turret down, eat the crying burst, and then just WEQ over the wall. It's a little bit risky, but I mean. I mean they're trying to force the issue. Ming is getting a flank here. They're just forcing Varen. Oh, JJ stole it. It's doomed. It's doomed. It's doomed. JJ stole it. Oh, Gala flashed. The scout. Die. Oh, what was that? Ulti from crying. Okay. 
does Viper just kill them all? He definitely kills them all, doesn't he? 30 HP swipe from Way. I mean, I think they could have done that in a way where Ming doesn't have to die. So, okay. All right. <laughs> Getting each other out. Not bad. I mean, you know what's crazy? Pe people saw C9 lose the detonation focus me. And then for some reason, you're supposed to believe that they're going to beat RNG. Wait, we got to fight. Or they're going to beat FPX. Wait, is Flandre just... Okay. Oh, wait. They got a, they got a combo onto Viper. Mako is dead too. Mako doesn't have Viper. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. RNG is going to actually like... Nah, they're not going to win the game here, are they? Oh my God. Look at Gala just sprinting. Nah, there's no way. There's no way they end up winning this. I don't believe it. I don't believe they end up winning this game. So RNG's on a timer because of the bot wave, by the way. They're on a timer. That's why they have to force Baron here. I think that forcing Baron here is actually probably the best thing you can do. Oh my god, he lost it again. I mean, it's pretty hard to outsmite Nolof, but I, I mean, Olaf didn't even get his E there. This is the right move by RNG, though. Like, they have to force this Baron because if they don't flip it right now, they're just going to have to give it for free because of the bot wave. So they actually have to do it. Hey, Flandre just sending it for the boys. Wait, Viper just griefed it? Viper griefed it so hard that they don't even win the game here. Wait, Scout is 100% griefing, no? I, maybe it's not. Maybe Scout can just carry it anyway. Oh, RNG isn't smiling anymore. RNG is not smiling anymore. No one smile. They know that it's so much worse than like they're capable of. Okay. First pick rise. I mean, I assume it will be like Syndra or Oriana. <laughs> the Jarvan going out in style for RNG. They're going out in style with the Jarvan. God bless. The Annie again. The Jarvan Annie. Dude, they saw it work. They're like, oh my God, it was so good the first time. We're going to do it again. I respect the confidence, if nothing else, to go back to a pick that failed so miserably the first time. Of course, Showmaker plays Aurelia. I've seen him play Aurelia, but um, wait, hold on. We got to fight. Okay. First blood. Oh, this is dead. Uh, Jahu has to leave. Ming has no flash. Ming is dead too. That's fucking tragic. Cryon had no mana and couldn't TP. It's a base first. That was was hype for a little bit. Oh, JJ's just dead. JJ's just dead. Okay. Wait, he's just alive? Wait, Scout is dead. Wait, the rotation. What the f*** is Ming doing here? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Holy f***. It's actually a pretty nice rotation, though. Like, low-key, this is a great rotation from RNG. So, Flandre just ulted. Mm. Way could have potentially went in there. All right. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. JJ just failed. Wait, did JJ fail his flash over the wall, or what happened here? Oh, my God. The ulti was actually nice from Kryon. Or from Gala, rather. Scout is dead. Mako is dead. Actually kind of clean. Actually kind of clean. It was pretty poorly played, though, by EDG. Oh, Viper flashed into it. Viper flashed into it. Come on, Viper. Oh, the scout is just dead. We don't even know what happened because we we're in a replay for like 13 years. Okay. Ryan's trying to get... Wait, he did the wrong combo. He should have WR'd. The stopwatch? The ulti? Honestly, Wade did, his, did the most there. I mean, Kennen is top, bro. You just leave it. You, wait, you know who had a really good win rate? And was one of the best junglers in EUS solo queue? Tian. 
And how f***ing bad did that guy play at this Worlds? He was literally like the worst player at Worlds. And he has one of the best win rates out of all junglers at the tournament. Oh. Oh my god, they just one shot Mako over the wall. Mako tried to get onto Flandre. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chao just absolutely one shot Viper's face off. God damn. We're going to game five, baby. We're going to game five. Okay, game five. I like it. I like it. Okay, the Annie ban. The Annie ban. All right. First pick rise. Ban Annie, ban Galio, ban TF. Okay. Two bans, this crying guy is a problem. That's what they're saying right now in comms. Like, Scout was like, please just ban Annie. I can't lane into this guy. He is too f***ing good. They banned the Malzahar too. I mean, Kryon has to be able to just play Singer, right? Oh, he's playing Orianna. It's f***ing lost. I'm worried. I, for one, am worried. Uh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm going to pee real quick. Oh! The, the bait! They get two kills here. It's actually so worth for RNG. Let's go, RNG. I'm an RNG fan right now because I have uh, subs on the line. Wait, wait, you took that? God, everyone's just choking. It's a fucking choke fest. In the words of Perks, everyone is choking. It's a choke fest. But in the end, RNG ends up prevailing. Oh. Wait, he's dead. He didn't see JJ there. Oh, uh, I don't know if they could kill Ming instantly. Okay. They end up getting out. Okay. I guess it ends up not being terrible. Oh, JJ's dead. Oh, Viper's already here. Wade just has to accept death. Walking up. Got the slow. One for one when everything's said and done. Dom on washed. They lost first blood. Exactly. Wade just dead. <laughs> Wade is just dead. Oh, no. Dude, I feel bad for Wade, man. I mean, the BB. Everyone knows the BB is playing for uh, G2. Oh, they give it to Viper too. That's actually so nice that Viper gets it. Have I heard about um, anything about G280 care? I've heard a little bit about it. I've heard that the... Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Gala and Ming are just dead, aren't they? Oh, maybe not. No, they're dead. Oh, the block from Mako. That's actually nice, bro. Mako's actually clutch for that. Wait, Mako's actually a beast for that one. Jumps out, blocks the Lee Sin Q after the kick. Respect, respect. Um, I heard that the AD carry is flacked. I don't know anything about him, though. Oh, Wade's just dead again. Wade just ran it down this game. Ming is dead, too. Oh, Ming has flash, but he's probably dead, too. Yeah, he's dead, too. Crying off a roamer, and this is how RNG looks. Feels bad. Uh, it's doomed. They banned the f***ing Annie. They banned the Annie and then Kryon just ran it. Oh, Kryon didn't even run it that hard. Way mainly ran it. Throw perks in there and then you just throw that. Like, I don't know, man. And Way's dead again.
Not a not a great series for BDG, but they got the job done. They got the job done.